Welcome to today's Big Brother 17 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is JC122994, aka John. And John wants to know, have I ever heard of the website Tengaged? I have not. Um, from my understanding, it's a reality show website. I'm going to have to check it out because it sounds really cool. Um, but thank you for letting us know about that. Alright, so we got a lot to talk about. So first, a brief recap of last night's double eviction, which was like... Yeah. Uh, last night, alright, things started out normal. Shelly was evicted, 8 to 0, and then Steve won HOH. It looked like it was an accident because I'm pretty sure he was planning on throwing it and his face was all like... <sighs> alright, so then he nominates Meg and Jackie. What? <laughs> um, Johnny Mac wins the power veto, does not use it, and then Jackie is evicted by a vote of 6 to 1. No! I was rooting for Jackie! Ah, what just happened? I think a lot of people were really confused by this move. Um, it was just like really weird. I don't know. I don't know what was going on there. Um, I think Steve definitely wimped out. That was not the best move for his game. You left a huge alliance in the house, Vanessa and the Oz twins, and guess what? You're like way down on their list of allies, so... I don't think it was a good move for him. But anyway, the feeds come back after this, and there's some mixed emotions in the house. Of course, the goblins, Meg and James, are, like, sad and confused. There were a lot of tears from Meg. She was very upset, and James was just like, oh, man. And then friggin' Vanessa, Liz, and Julia were all jumping around celebrating gross. Uh, not only were they celebrating surviving this double eviction and Jackie going home, Vanessa was already celebrating the final four. She was like, guys, it's us and Austin. Like, we've already got this. We're already in the final four. This is great. All right, let's talk about Steve. He was all over the place. Like, I think he was in shock um, of what just happened, what he just did. So he went to the have-not room to apologize to the goblins and... He's like, guys, um, I want you to know I'm not really calm enough right now to talk about everything yet, but I just wanted to say I'm sorry, and, um, we'll talk later. So they're just like, get out! No, they're not, but they were like, okay, thanks, bye. So then, um, they were talking, it's James, Meg, and Becky in the have-not room, and they were talking about how they were shocked that Steve didn't go after Austin. Come on, people, let it go! They're not against each other! <laughs> Wake up! And then Meg is like, um, Vanessa freaking came up to me during the double eviction and tried to make a deal with me for her vote and that's slimy and blah blah blah. I don't think it's like crazy slimy, like it's, it's kind of like, mm. but at the same time it's to be expected because it's Vanessa and that's like how she plays this game. You gotta get those deals going if you're Vanessa. Um, so then James is like, alright, it's time for us to get serious. We need to pull in Johnny Mac and Steve. We gotta regain those numbers. Steve just, like, attacked you guys. Um, and you know what else they have to do? They gotta pack up Jackie's stuff because she didn't know that she was gonna go home. What? That sucks. All right, so then Johnny Mac and Becky were talking in the cabana room, and Johnny Mac wants her to know, like, I was not in on Steve's plan. That was all him. I'm not taking credit for that nonsense. So then um, he was talking about how he wanted to take out Vanessa, but Steve was not ready to do that. Steve is, like, definitely with the other side of the house. They can't trust him. And Johnny Max says that Steve made a fanboy move. Oh, snap. Um, so then John was trying to justify not using the power veto. He said that he wasn't sure. He said this in his speech, too. He wasn't sure who would go up on the block if he used it. So he lets Becky know that he was worried that she was going to go up on the block or, like, James. So he didn't want to do that. Um, so then they're talking about moving forward. They want to try to pull in Steve, again, they're talking about that too, and they want to work with James and Meg. So they want to make a group of five there. Alright, so then, while the goblins are trying to make sense of what just happened and kind of like regroup a little bit, the freaks and geeks are all studying um, the dates and events in the house for the next HOH competition, because I mean, there's not a huge gap there 
from the time that the double eviction ended and the next HOH competition. So they got to, like, get in the zone there. Um, so then Becky and Johnny Mac join James and Meg in the have-not room, and they're talking about how manipulative Vanessa is. Like, she's got to go. They need to work together and go after her and the Oz twins. They're finally realizing that no one has gone home from that group yet. They kind of need to, like, make some moves here. Um, I guess Meg and James are over all the Becky being a rat drama, too. Because you know how the end of last week they were like, we can't trust her, I don't know if we're going to be able to keep her around much longer, we got to get rid of her. Well, now they're like, we need her! <laughs> so then that whole group agrees, like, we need to be super sweet to Steve because he really responds to attention. He needs that. And that's why he's so close with Vanessa and them. Like, we need to shower him with affection and pull him in. So then Steve comes in. He's had enough time to calm down. So he's ready to talk to those goblins in the have-not room. So he's trying to explain his move. He's like... I was worried that Jackie was coming after me, and Meg, I put you up just as a pawn, like, I didn't want you to go home at all. Um, so Meg is like, Steve, Jackie was never after you. Never. She was going after Austin, so whoever told you that information was lying. So then the goblins are, uh, explaining to Steve, it looks like Vanessa was setting you up to be our next target. She made you make that move so that we would want you out. So... They tell him, like, she's using you. You need to cut her loose. Um, and Steve's like, oh, you really think that? <gasps> really? Uh, so then James was like, yes, really. But don't worry, son. This group is going to protect you. We're going to keep you safe. <laughs> oh, no. All right, so they've already started trying to comfort him and pull him in. They were being very nice to him, considering what just happened. So then the feeds went down for a little while for the HOH competition, and the winner was Liz. Liz is the new HOH, guys. So I'm not totally sure which competition this was. Uh, according to Steve, this was a new one that we've never seen before. It required speed and logic, so it should be a fun one to watch, I guess. I think I heard that Johnny Mac was very close, too, so he's... It would have been a lot different if he had won. But anyway, right after the feeds come back, Vanessa and Julia are already making plans. They're talking about Becky leaving this week because, you know, they're HOH, so whatever. Um, and then Vanessa's talking to Johnny Mac. She's telling him, yeah, uh, you might be going on the block this week, but if you do, you're safe, so you have nothing to worry about. Thanks, Vanessa. So then Steve and Johnny Mac were chatting in the comic bedroom. Johnny Mac's like, uh, Vanessa just told me I'm safe. <laughs> and then <laughs> Steve is like, oh, that's cool. And then he's telling Johnny Mac, like, I'm hoping that you're not angry with me for what I did during the double eviction. I think Johnny Mac is definitely at least disappointed in you, Steve. Ugh. Um, but Johnny Mac is like, guess what? I got these goblins, goblins with me, and they're going after Vanessa, so, like, are you in, or what's going on? Alright, so, <laughs> it's a little unclear what Steve's gonna do at that time. So then the freaks and geeks all meet up in the cabana room, and, uh, Steve is like, guess what, guys? I just talked to those goblins, and, uh, they all think that you're manipulating me, and I'm going along with it. So they're just like, oh, okay, uh, whatever, Steve. I guess we see who Steve is working with. So then um, they start talking about what they're going to do this week. And it doesn't take them long to land on putting up John and Becky. They want Becky to go. And uh, they feel like John would be a good nominee next to her. Because he's got a good chance of beating her in the Power Veto competition. He's a very good competitor. And uh, if he wins the Power Veto, he's not going to be able to use it on her. Because he's got to use it on himself. So, like I said, Becky is their target. And if she does come off the block... James is the backdoor option. So then Steve leaves, and Vanessa starts coaching Liz on how to make these deals with Meg and James for her safety next week, and blah, 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 blah. Vanessa and her deals. So then, uh, Oz twins and Vanessa decide Freaks and Geeks is not enough. We need to have our own alliance without Steve. So they are going to call themselves Austin's Angels. Oh, no! Okay. Fun stuff at midnight. James and Meg got to eat. Yay! Uh, that was like the longest dentist appointment ever. I feel like they never left the have-not room. Seriously. Um, 
So not long after that, Steve got his HOH basket. He got a letter from his mommy. It was a very long letter. Um, so that was nice for him. He got some pictures, snacks. He got a shirt. I think one of his snacks was like fruit by the foot or something, or fruit roll-ups. Yum. All right. Um, so then Austin and Liz were talking, and they're going to need some sort of explanation to give to Meg and James for why they're not putting up Steve this week. Because if you go back to the deal, that infamous eight-person deal, um, the plan is to go after the floaters first. And that's also what Brass Tax was talking about last week. But they don't want to do that. They want to go after Becky. So they're thinking, let's just lie to Meg and James and say that we promised Steve safety during the double eviction if he kept us safe. So that's their plan for that. Uh, other stuff they were talking about, Austin's getting a little worried that Vanessa will try to team up with Steve and Johnny Mac. Interesting that he says that because that, while that was happening, Vanessa was talking to Steve about making a deal with Johnny Mac. <laughs> so she's like, we can't let the Austin twins have all the power. Like, that's three people strong. We got to be able to go up against them. Can you imagine if that gets back to Austin? He's going to be pissed. So then it was time for Liz's HOH room reveal. She got a letter from her sister, Angela. And uh, the letter was like, Liz, we're redoing your bathroom and it looks really good. <laughs> so, you know, she got all her snacks and stuff. Good times. Um, so then it was Meg and James's chance to talk with Liz and her co-HOHs. Julia and Austin. Seriously though, those three are going to be like living in that HOH 24-7. So Liz is like, guys, I know you had a rough time with Jackie going home, um, but we still want to work with you guys. Brass tacks. Let's take it to the final five. Let's do it. So then they're like, also, like, Vanessa's going to be like our number six, but she's she's on the outside. Like, she's not really with us. She's not brass tacks. Um, so they're just like, whatever you say. Like, they're not really in a position to be making waves right now. So then it's Becky's turn with the Aust twins, and they really want some info from her. They want to make this a productive meeting. They're going to try to pull out whatever they can. And you know what? Becky is ready to give them information. She is she's all about it. So Becky is, like, going into all these different plans that uh, she heard that Vanessa had and, like, things... Um, that they may not already know about Vanessa, all these side deals that she's been cutting. So Becky also breaks down the week that Jason went home, and this is really important because that week, Vanessa asked James to throw the Battle of the Block competition when he was nominated next to Liz. So Liz was not happy when she heard that. Um, but also that week, Austin was supposed to be the backdoor target. So that's pretty intense. Um, so Becky ended up giving them a lot of info about Vanessa, and they were not happy with what they heard. So Becky leaves the room, and the Aust twins are just like, whoa, I cannot believe that that just happened. So at the same time, they feel like they can't really put up Vanessa at this point for some reason. Um, but Becky was the target initially. Now they're thinking, we need to keep Becky, because Vanessa and Becky are going to go after each other, and we're not going to do Vanessa's dirty work for her. So we're still going to put her up on the block, but she's going to be the pawn, and Johnny Mac is now the target. Oh no! So then the freaks and geeks are up in the HOH room, and they decide, hey, we got to change our name, because that's copyrighted. So they change their name to Scamper Squad. Okay. Um, so then Vanessa is like bugging them. She wants some freaking details about their conversation with Becky. They're not telling her what Becky said. They're not like, hey, Becky just told us you suck. No. They're like, oh, she was just talking about what happened last week and how it was supposed to be a group decision, but like they didn't end up supporting her and blah, 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 blah. You know what they also didn't tell her? That Johnny Mac is now the target and not Becky. So Vanessa still thinks it's going to be Becky. Um, so yeah, they're not happy with her, and they are definitely keeping her at an arm's length away, maybe two arms. So this morning, uh, Johnny Mac was like, Liz, I know you're going to have to pick the have-nots today. Please, if you're going to nominate me, do not pick me to be a have-not. So, I mean, Liz was kind of like, well, we'll see. She was asking around a little bit to see who could be a have-not instead of him, and then like, it was time to pick the have-nots, and she was just like, I have to pick you. Like, it's it's your turn. So, 
the have nots this week are Johnny Mac, Steve, and Vanessa. And the extra food that they get to enjoy in addition to slop is pork chops. What if you're a vegetarian? All right, so this is where things start to get a little crazy. Vanessa and Johnny Mac were chatting in the have not room and the whole eight person double eviction deal comes up and Johnny Mac was saying like, oh, I heard it from you initially. I heard it when you were talking about it with Shelly and Clay. And Vanessa's like, whoa, I never told Shelly and Clay about that. Like, you must be remembering things wrong. Uh, no. So she's totally denying this. And then Johnny Mac is like, mm, I definitely heard you tell Shelly and Clay. Like, I'm not making this up. I definitely remember it. And Vanessa's like, no, that never happened. Blah, 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 blah. So then Vanessa goes into the cabana room with Steve and she's like, I'm giving you one chance right now to tell me the truth. Did you tell Johnny Mac what I told you about the deal? And Steve's just like, no, no, um, I, I heard it from, from Becky, and I heard it from Johnny Mac, who heard it from Becky. So then Johnny comes in to the cabana room, and he's like, what's up, guys? What's going on here? <laughs> um, so then Vanessa is, like, going over this crap again, and she's like, Steve, tell him what you just told me. Becky told you. So then they're going around and around, and um, I think we're going to have to revisit this in tomorrow's spoiler because like it gets a little out of hand and crazy about other stuff so um i think we're gonna have to revisit this in more detail tomorrow but anyway not long after that they had the nominations and liz put up becky and johnny mac as planned <sighs> the veto is gonna be interesting tomorrow that is for sure so let me know what you guys think in the comments uh it's a lot to process so let me know what you think and until tomorrow much love. Edit. Yeah.